Hi foxes, Mrs. Frieden here, and my pet Diesel is joining us. Uh, today I am going to read some true stories of some amazing animals. So uh, this is nonfiction because it's true stories about real animals. So let's get started. All right, so this is a story of Samson and Delilah. Samson is this dog right here. He's an Akita, and this is Delilah, who's an La Lasso Opso. Um, and they come from California in the United States. So Samson, the Akita Shepherd, isn't an official seeing eye dog, uh, but that doesn't stop him from being a guide dog for his blind friend, Delilah La Lasso Opso. When Barbara Fierro spotted the pair of strays wandering the highway, she noticed some sh something strange. Samson kept nudging Delilah away from oncoming traffic. After Fierro brought them to her house, she discovered that Delilah was blind. Samson had been leading Delilah as if he were her guide dog. Years later, Samson still keeps Delilah in sight, checking on her constantly and standing guard when strangers are around, but he has mellowed a bit. He lets Delilah sit by herself on the couch. Uh, he says, Fierro, he just lies on a pillow nearby with his paws in the air. So isn't that sweet? This is Samson, and this is Delilah. And look, he's keeping her safe because she can't see very well. So let's look at another set of some amazing animals. These are chihuahuas, and Diesel's in the way. These are and these are from Port Washington, New York, also in the United States. So let's read about these amazing chihuahuas. Carmen, Venus, and Pablo chase each other, play hide-and-seek, and steal the remote control off the coffee table. The chihuahua triplets, so triplets mean they were bored at the same time, um, don't seem to notice that they were born with only their two hind legs. So look at this. They only have their back legs. They don't have their front legs. Um, staff and volunteers at North Shore Animal League America took months to teach the dogs the skills they need to thrive. The three exercised in a pool to build up their muscles and learn to use the carts below. So look at these little carts that help them get around. Uh, see, the pooches were even put in harnesses that made them look like marionettes. That helped them develop better balance so they could bend forward to drink from a water bowl. Today, they can walk like people, hop like kangaroos, and move like dogs in their carts, says Donna, who adopted all three. Carmen, Venus, and Pablo have human help, but they also help each other. They hold bones for each other and clean each other's ears. It looks like these guys know the meaning of family support. I love that. These little doggies, they were born like this, but they don't let that stop them. They get around and they help each other out. All right, one last story. And this story is a little bit different. It's not your typical pet. This is a pet hippo. And this hippo lives in South Africa. And this hippo's name is Jessica. As a baby, Jessica slept in the same bed as humans Tony and Shirley Jubert. Now that she's bigger, she has to sleep with the dogs. But don't feel too bad for Jessica. After all, she is a hippo. And at almost 1,800 pounds, she would definitely break the bed. The Juberts adopted Jessica when the newborn hippo washed up in their riverfront yard. Tony, a former park ranger, got the go-ahead from local authorities to raise the orphaned hippo as a pet. We spoiled her rotten, Tony says. Today, she's just part of the family. Oh, Diesel's moving. Jessica loves to go swimming with Shirley and give rides to kids. Wild hippos sometimes visit in the evening, but Jessica prefers to watch TV. And though the Juberts think Jessica has gotten too big to come inside, very often it's hard to keep her out. She's figured out how to open the front door with her lips. So look here. There's Jessica in the water. And there's Jessica opening the front door. And there's Jessica getting her meal time. Isn't that some amazing pets? So my challenge to you, foxes, is 
in the comments below, whether you're looking on YouTube or you're looking on Facebook or Twitter, is post a picture of your pet. If you don't have a pet, that is perfectly fine. Draw me a picture. Let me see what your dream pet would be. Maybe it is a dog or a cat or a hippo or a giraffe. Use your imagination and be creative. Bye, foxes.